Now, one council is hoping to tempt teachers to stay in the profession by trialling priority places for their children. What do you think? Is that right to give teachers' children special treatment when awarding school places? Former deputy head teacher and parenting author Sue Atkins believes it could leave other parents with a sense of injustice. But the rapping science teacher, Matt Green, thinks wherever you work, you should get perks. Matt, you're a dad of three. Yep. Do you work at the school where your children are? No. Right. No. It, but if you were offered that choice, would it attract you to a different school? Oh, definitely. If that's, that's a right. perk that would retain me. Um, I know for other teachers that I know in the industry, they find that a great benefit. My mm. sister-in-law, for one. Um, I think with any, anything in schools, children should always be put first. Yeah. And they should be put as number one. And those that are looking after children is the teachers. And if teachers are prioritised and given that benefit, then they're more likely to deliver a better job as anyone in any industry. And if they're delivering a better job, that impacts the children. They're going to get a better education. And further to that, if your life is easier as a teacher and you don't have to travel far to drop your kid in the morning and pick them up, you're going to have more time to invest in the students within the school. So it would work they all round. It works for the children, it works for the teachers, it works for the parents. That's it. That's Sue? it. Doesn't work for you, Sue. No, because for me, that seems why are teachers going to the top of the list when there are siblings that would be better, you know, served? And there has always been criteria, but putting teachers at the top just strikes me as a sort of a lasterplast on the problem, which is education retention and keeping teachers in, in the jobs. You know? mm. Matt, you... who would you biff out of the way? Well, in terms of the priority order? Yeah. Well, I think that there, Sue mentions the priority order and it is there and I know that it's there. And I think for someone like for something like siblings, they should be pretty high on the priority order. But things like catchment area, I think teachers should probably be above. And in my, my experience as a company owner, I have a company and I've spoken to thousands of parents over the year and they find it unjust when teachers are leaving the profession left, right and centre. So basically you're saying if, if someone is within the catchment area for a school and the teacher lives outside that catchment area, but teachers at that school, their children should biff out the more local child. Yes. So, and what, have yes. you had teachers you haven't been able to retain because their kids couldn't get a place at the school? Not really, because, you know, that's always been a problem. And if you're in the school for two years, you do actually get that kind of treatment that comes up. But for teachers to jump the queue for me, that just seems unfair because there are so many parents that move to the catchment area. And if you're not living in that, and a child that lives around the corner doesn't get the place because the teacher's child gets it, that doesn't strike me as very fair. Well, yeah. I have to say, uh, how many people... My eyesight, Is it right? Yeah. Prioritise teachers' kids for school places. 31% say yes, it is. 69% agree with you, Sue. They say no. It no. would seem very unfair. Well... The, with the unfairness, the unfairness is going to happen either at the early point, when you can't get your kids into school, or a later point, when your okay. kid's teacher is leaving. Matt, Sue, it's an interesting debate. Good morning, Britain. Back tomorrow from six. Now it's time to join Lorraine.